Hello YouTube, this is Amrady Reviews, doing another video uh, and uh, this time I'm showing how to upgrade the Baofeng DM5R digital radio to tier 2 um, uh, specification, at least that's what according uh, to Baofeng. Uh, okay, now let's take, it, let's take the steps uh, one by one. The first thing you need to do is go to radiodity.com uh, website and purchase this uh, Baofeng DM5R dual band DMR upgrade for $10. Uh, this upgrade um, is of course uh, applies only to people that got the radio, that got the first batch of the radio uh, which um, is uh, claimed to be tier 1. I think already the uh, the upgraded units are already uh, being sold, uh, but uh, with this upgrade you can upgrade your um, radio if you already have it, and um, it will be the same. Uh, I think it will be the same uh, with uh, the units that are being sold right now as DM Five R Plus. Okay, now after you purchase this uh, upgrade for ten dollars, they will send you a zip file with instructions and everything. This is the zip file here. Um, let's extract uh, here and see what the contents are. It will go this folder. Okay. An important thing to note uh, with uh, to upgrade uh, successfully, to upgrade your radio successfully, is to have uh, Microsoft Excel installed on your PC. Uh, okay, this, this is a, an instruction uh, document uh, and we will need these two files. Now, the first thing you need to do is to connect um, your radio to your uh, uh, PC through um, a, a simple cable, any cable, any, buff, any cable you use to program your Baofeng radios your analog Baofeng radios basically will do the job. Now, um, you need to know the COM port it's connected to as always uh, and then um, after it is connected you need to open the radio with a, a specific uh, procedure. Let me show you this, let me start camera here. Okay, now you should be able to see uh, the video here. Now, to open the radio, you need to hold the PTT button, like this here, while it is turned off. So that you can see it here. Holding the PTT and then turn it on. Okay, this now is the radio. Uh, developer mode, how they say, according to the instructions. Okay, now, uh, you need to extract uh, these. Uh, it will ask you for a password. The password is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, and the other one. Move already. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is the password. There we go. After uh, the, uh, you extract this file, you, you have this bin file and this executable. You open this HR vocoder encryption dot exec. You run this program and you get this uh, layout. Make sure you have the correct COM port selected. It says COM1 but COM3 is the correct port for me. Uh, also, you need to make sure that the speed is at 57600. 57,600. Okay, then you need to click the open port button. Here you will see it says port open. Now, right now, this means that uh, your computer, this program is connected to the radio. It has a, an open port. Uh, no um, communication is being made right now, but you please make sure you have a full battery and you do not disconnect uh, the radio at this point. Then you need to click this button, select upgrade file.
Okay, let's uh, get to the folder we have here. And you need to select this B folder. Okay, it says now upgrade file has been selected. Okay, now, okay, uh, it says the, in the instructions, it says that at this point, after you've selected the upgrade, the upgrade file, uh, you need to make sure that the radio screen and keypad are lit up. This is exactly how they are now since I have turned on the radio. And the stage is like this. The, the, the screen is lit up and the keypad is also lit up. Okay, this means there's an open port that is connected and everything. And it is in developer mode. After the screen turns red, it says click upgrade. Upgrade is here. Upgrade program. Make sure machine in e IAP mode. This is the mode uh, the radio is in right now. Okay. And it's, I suppose it's sending. Okay. Upgrade has been completed. Uh, I have to say at this point that uh, it took uh, five or six attempts to complete the upgrade. Uh, it was timing out either on 10% uh, or on 70% um, and I finally got it. Each time I had to uh, turn off the radio and turn back on into developer mode by uh, holding the PTT button. Okay, now when you the upgrade is successful, you will see down here upgrade successfully. After that, close the port and turn the radio off. Okay, after the upgrade, this upgrade finishes, turn the radio back on without pressing the PTT. You will see welcome on the screen. If it's not the radio is connected to the PC. Welcome on the screen, that's where it will uh, remain. Okay, open the HR Vocoder encryption program again. You click open port. Okay, port is open. You see here port open. Then you need to create uh, Excel. Uh, it even says uh, to enter a specific name. Let's keep the instructions. Uh, let's keep the uh, what the instructions uh, tell us do. Spread. Okay, save. It creates an Excel file. Here it is. Okay, then we click this Open Excel button, not this one, but this one, Open Excel, and select the file. Go. It says file already open, this is what it should say. Then we click the Read CPU ID button here. Okay, you see here, Read CPU ID successfully. Uh, now let's uh, close the port, close this one, and open the Excel spreadsheet. Okay, here you will see CPU ID has been entered. Okay, I will now email this CPU ID to Radio ODD and get uh, back to you right after this. Okay, I have received the the key value from Radio DT. Uh, only it's been only a couple of hours after I uh, sent them the CPU ID. Uh, of course this uh, will certainly apply if you have already purchased the upgrade for ten dollars. Okay, we will paste this the key we got here. Here we go and and save the file. This is the spreadsheet that we created earlier. Okay. It's now saved in here. Open the radio without holding the PPT. The the radio. It is connected uh, to the uh, PC from the cable. And here, okay. 
And we open the program again, Nature Recorder. Here we go. Open the port. Okay. Now we click this Open Excel button here. We select the file and open. Okay. Now we see file already open. This is when uh, this has opened, it means that the file is open. Now we click this right key button. And it should and it says right key successfully. I suppose this is done. And now the update is finished. Let's close the port and this program. Okay, now let's uh, get uh, to the radio. Okay, we've just written the value, the key value to the radio. We should turn it off. Let's disconnect the cable and see what we have here now. We just turn it off normally. Welcome and uh, the it's back to normal state. Now let's check the menu here. Here the version has changed. So the menu options, of course, are the same. Option key, contact, message inbox, mode DMR. Okay, now let's do a quick compatibility check to see if it uh, works. Uh, with uh, DMR uh, radio. Let's see, I will first change because the other DMR radio have is uh, for 70 centimeters only. Let's change the band here. Uh, 433, 450, yeah, it's correct. Okay, I have the TYT MB398 here. Let's turn this on and switch to the appropriate zone. Have already set up here. The zone is digital here. Okay. Okay. Four three three four fifty. This is four three three four fifty. Let's see if listen. The gimme the gimme. This video from my mic killer. The gimme the gimme. Okay. It's working. The radios, the two radios now are now compatible. Let's try and talk with this one. The other one. The gimme, the gimme. The as video. The gimme, the gimme. As video, Roma my kilo. The gimme, the gimme. Uh, the modulation is a bit lower. Uh, as I hear it on this radio, so maybe the microphone here is not that good. But that's it. The radios work. Now, let's try sending. A message from this radio to this radio first because that's what wasn't working create uh, let's change the key let's do this just a simple hello okay in 5R, this is a. I've already set this up, but this is for another check. Let's do this one. Okay. Message and this received something. Let's see. There's no indication that it received the message, it just lit up. But let's see if we have received something. Mode message inbox. Yes. No inbox. No. No message, but that's okay. Not really a problem. As long as these two work, we're good to go. Okay. Uh, this was the upgrade 
uh, of uh, the Baofeng DM5R to supposedly tier 2. More videos are coming up. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and share this video. Um, 7.3 for now. Thank you very much.